<laughs> hey, look at that. It's a ham steak. He's got two fidget spinners and a tablet. Ha! <laughs> You're a knucklehead, though. Yeah, I might be a knucklehead, but guess where I'm taking you? What? Where are we going? Hold on, we're going to Banana Land! <laughs> no, we're not going to Banana Land. All right, Land. see back there in the, in the rear view? That was the Las Vegas Strip. This is heading west. Across. South. We're going west. It's, we're on I-15 South. Which is ultimately going to take us out west. Okay. Our road trip is out west. Oh, we're going to Knott's Berry Farm, all right? Can't even let me build up the suspense, can you? Well, Kill Joy. <laughs> Can't let me have any fun whatsoever. They're not allowed to have any fun on this vlog. Anyway, you said it with your eyes. I have set glasses on, you can't see my eyes. Anyway, we're on the road today on 15 Whoa. South, in case you didn't pick up on that. But we are ultimately heading west to, what's it called, Buena Park, California? It's somewhere near Disney, I think. Knott's Berry Farm is where we're heading off to today. And we've never been there before, this is our first time, so we're going to document our trip as always, show you what's there. We're, we're pioneering. We're, we're on the frontiers. We're breaking new ground where no vloggers have gone, oh, who am I kidding? We're like the four million vlogger to do this. But at least you get our beautiful filter and our sense of sarcasm to take you through it. So we're all packed up. We have enough packed in this car for four families. I don't know how we do that. A weekend trip, but we have a full car. I, I, I don't get it. And we have big gigantic double gulps because a road trip without Dr. Pepper is like just not a road trip. Diet Dr. Pepper specifically with lemon. It's lovely. All right, so we're getting on the road now. We got about a good five hour drive, but you know, we show you fun five stuff along the way. California, traffic. Do I need to tell you any more than that? It's gonna take us five hours just to get halfway there like it did last time. Remember the Legoland trip? Yeah, watch the videos. All right, guys, we're gonna get on the road now. Let's get out to California. So once again, on our usual California road trips, we find ourselves at the Barstow Station, which is now a Greyhound station. Uh, formerly, I suppose, is a train station, which is the train tracks over there and the buses over there. And look, California's little windmills. They're so cute. I love them. But we always end up here and we always end up like eating pretzels and playing Key Master and doing all that kind of stuff. So just a usual stop here on our trip. So here we go. So back there is a radio station. Yeah. See, that's what our actual radio station looks like. 96.9 and 94.9. 94.9, the drive. Coming to you all through California Highway. You know that whole thing? So, I don't know. But, as you guys always know, IQ over here does his favorite thing, which is Wetzel's Pretzels. He did a vlog on it on his channel, so. Yeah, we did this on, um, hold on, Legoland. We yep. went here like, Watch them like, hold on, this is how they make it. So let me give you some examples, because they know they make pretzels. They like, they make whatever pretzels they have to, whatever they make, uh -huh. the pizza bites are specially made, but they like, what type of pizza bites? They're like, they like put like, they put, make it like a pizza pretzel, they make pretzels like, so you guys know it wouldn't be Quinterables if we didn't hit at least an arcade game or a key master. Oh. We got five bucks. There's a purse right there with a couple hundred bucks in it. I want that one. I want it. You are not allowed to have a purse. You can have the money. You can have the purse. You can have the purse for me. You can have the purse for you. That's and I don't know what that is there. A PS4 game. And there's Air Jordan retros and all that. So, you ready to try this? Yeah. Who's going first? Dad. All right. You're good at this. Right, well, right. let me I'm going to go first. Let me. Oh. No bueno. Okay. I thought it was. Oh, it's okay. Babe, it's a game. All right, guys. So, that was it. Five bucks on Keymaster. I lost like a dog. I've won on Keymaster like two times and all the times I've played it. But as you know, Panda Express is like one of our things. Arcade games are another thing. What's our third thing you have? Duncan. The Quinterables run on Duncan. You know what's really interesting here at this place they got? Candy shop, 
They got all these other food items, and they have California Lottery. We don't have lottery in Las Vegas. All the gambling we have, we don't have a lottery, believe it or not. So, this is always a neat place. I actually kind of think it's fun here. So, yeah. We're gonna hit the road soon, though. We're gonna grab our coffee. We're getting going. Off to California. Well, we're in California. Off to Buena Park. Not. We're going. What is that magical thing you have there? It is a frozen Dunkin' coffee. Is that new? I think it's new. It says try our new frozen Dunkin' coffee. <laughs> I believe it's new. <laughs> so, it's really hey, good. Look, I got just old coffee. And by old, I don't mean traditional. I mean like it's been sitting around for a while. And it's not even hot for anymore. A busy, for a busy bus station, it's surprising. Me. It's warmish. It was a Maybe long wait. I guess it was kind of hot and then the cream really took it down. I don't know. You no, know, I had the frozen one at Dutch Brothers and I want to say Dutch Brothers is better. But this is pretty good. Just because we just pick one thing better over another doesn't mean we don't like still patronize the other stuff too. We like them both. But yeah, so this is the Barstow station. I got my coffee. And uh, I gotta tell you something. If you ever come to this Barstow station, two things to come to notice when you come here. If you get here when it's sort of busy-ish, go for Panda Express because they're constantly making fresh. It's always fresh when there's a lot of people here. The Dunkin' Donuts. They had, they had like a line of people and one guy working. I felt that, so bad for this guy. Young guy. Young guy too. You could tell he was just beat tired. up. Tired. Just like, can I help you? <laughs> like, bro. It's like, I was going to say, the coffee's not hot, but you know what? I'm not going to complain. Keep it, keep it nice. I'll just pretend it's a nice coffee that melted. All right, guys. Back on the road. Next destination, Knott's Hotel. Hopefully. Hopefully. trip finally finally in 1000 feet turn left onto western avenue oh finally oh, all right now we got to find the knott's berry hotel which i think is over there i can't this we'll really? go check in so this trip takes us to Knott's Berry Farms in Buena Park, California. First time here, we're gonna document and show you what we have going on. Bought season, bought season passes, so you may actually uh, see a bunch of this. We're gonna see how it goes though. All right, Quinterables checking in. All right, there you have it guys, the Knott's Berry Hotel. This is a hopping place we just checked in a little while ago. Got the perfect light out here, that's why I'm actually, <laughs> we have to go unpack and do everything, but that's why I decided to come out here and vlog because had like the perfect light this time of day. So this is a pretty sharp place. I'm kind of liking this so far. As I was in the lobby, checking in, ran into Snoopy. We love Snoopy here. So we're gonna go, to, I'm gonna show you a quick tour around so you see what everything looks like. And then, uh, not sure what we're doing tonight. We'll have to figure it out from here. So, all right, there's Snoopy way over there. There's Snoopy. We love Snoopy. <laughs> wow. All right, pretty rocking place over here. See that wooden roller coaster in the distance? It's really light, so you probably can't get a good look at it. But that's the park right there. So as soon as we leave the doors, we actually go out that way. And then we're in the park main entrance. So apparently out here there's a pool, fitness room, the whole deal. They don't really have the masseuse, which I was a little disappointed about, but such is life, I suppose. From what the front desk was telling me, they have a graduation here today. So we got a big hop and party up in this place. And I think today, if, depending on how we feel, we may run over to the park to get our season passes because we signed up for that. And uh, just going to take it easy. It's been a long ride, so we left maybe around 2 o'clock. And I think it's coming up on about a little after seven here. So about five hours on the road with a bunch of stops. And that's it. Always takes a lot out of you. So I'm going to just take it easy tonight. I'll show you the hotel room in a little bit. Oh, look, there they go. 
I love wooden roller coasters. It sounds like a lot of fun. All right, guys, that's what it looks like out this way. Now we're gonna be, show you the hotel room. We'll be moving on there. Oh man, it's like tropical in here. Check it out, they got a sauna. Over this way, they have a steam room. I really stay at a hotel that's got one of these. I'm your more your cheap budget kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? I'm more like a Motel 6 or Super 8, whatever the number is. But it's all attached to the fitness room, and this fitness room is pretty solid. Gotta tell you. I mean, it stinks and smells kind of really weird up in here. But outside of that, not bad. Oh, here's the pool. Let's go check, check this out, take a look. So out here in this area, they got... Pretty sizable pool, it's all outdoors. Looks like they got a kids water spray area, which looks like a lot of fun. Kind of cold and breezy tonight. We were thinking about swimming, so I don't know if I actually want to do that or not. Pretty cool though, look at that. So not bad at all, guys. I gotta tell you, can't really complain. So, as I promised you, we're gonna go to the room now and show you what that looks like. Onto my feet. All right, so we open up the drawer and look at this <laughs> look big at mess. Oh, don't forget about the uh, safety hazard there with the wire across the room. <laughs> the light. Wire over here, little little tripping hazard. Mm -hmm. But look, the light's not even against the wall. It's just, as far just as kind of sitting there in the middle of the cord can go. <laughs> <laughs> Floors are a little crummy and messy too, so and that, look that's. Look at the multi outlet over there. All right, let's go see uh, the multi yeah, outlet. Oh, hold on, hold on, see this. Where's the multi outlet? Oh, there you go, check that out. That's lovely. Well, check this out, guys. Agent IQ and I went exploring, and all along the hallways, they got all the Peanuts characters. We're speaking quietly because people might be sleeping, but check that out. And we've already ran into Snoopy, so it was pretty cool. Yeah, just like a peanut stick. So it's a pretty extraordinary place. It was recommended to us by one of our friends. And they have like Italian beef. Clearly it's a Chicago theme. Pick up on all the, you know, Chicago items and gangster stuff on the walls. So we're going to see how the food goes and uh, if it's a good recommendation, I'll recommend it to you guys. Yes, I will. All right, so here we are. Portillo's hot dogs. A little cheeseburger up there. Ian's going for his fries. We got something called an Italian beef, which is basically just a fancy hot roast beef sandwich. And we're waiting on our shake, so I like to get out. Chili cheese fries. Oh yeah. That was, what was that place called? Portillo's Dogs or something like that. Can't say I'm really super impressed by it. Chili cheese fries were amazing. Gotta give them that. But Italian beef's Italian beef, you know. It's just like a wet roast beef sandwich is all it is. I don't know why I was expecting something different, but... Yeah, I don't know. It was oh. good. It wasn't terrible. It was, it was something I mean, different. It, it, it wasn't distasteful. It was good. It was It was warm. blah. It didn't have a lot of seasoning or flavor to it, but it wasn't bad. Like, yeah. it wasn't like, oh, I couldn't eat it. We ate it. Yeah. So, that's it. So, we are wrapping up now. Ham steak over there is in bed. Hi! And tomorrow we start our first day at Knott's. So, we're going to sign off tonight. It's been a long day for all of us. And uh, we're going to get some rest. So, make sure you uh, follow us through the whole deal. You know, the whole deal. The end. All right. Quinterables out. See you guys.